What's good guys, Prims here. So tell me why, all right? Tell me why I'm doing, you know, the dishes and everything. And I got to get this notification on my phone talking about Mr. Beast exposed. Like Mr. Beast, bro, like the my one of my favorite YouTubers, okay? What the biggest YouTuber in the entire world just got exposed for allegedly I'm not saying this faking his videos and uh, being friends with someone who was doing a, a sending weird texts to minors and he knew about it but didn't say anything and acted like he didn't know about it all right so today I was like man you know what let me make a video about it because I watched Jimmy Mr. Beast while I'm eating my lunch and my dinner even though he posts like once a week I might go watch the old videos I haven't watched yet but Mr. Beast? No way, bro. This is the first video I saw, right? I worked for Mr. Beast, he's a fraud. That was one of Mr. Beast's old employee. He, even though he worked for a little bit, but like he exposed a lot about him. And then I saw this video where- Mr. Beast has just been exposed in a viral video and is getting bad. So last time we talked about- uh, Bro, I knew this person was kind of sus, you know? texting weird things to minors and then now Mr. Beast kind of knew about it. People are saying, I'm not saying that, okay? So I'm not saying that, but people are saying allegedly Mr. Beast knew all about this and he rigs his games where he involves, you know, a lot of random people and gives out money. He, people are saying that's kind of rigged also where he tries to make his friends or, or employees play in the game and he kind of has them end up winning like you guys know mac pop up mac over here mac usually um or is it matt i don't know he's playing he's been in a lot of mr beast videos and apparently this was all planned out like he's not no random viewer or random person he's mr beast's friend and mr beast is basically helping him win all this money but the Chris Tyson situation where Mr. Beast's childhood friend Chris was exposed for talking to minors in what the hell in that very weird ways and being a PDF file. So this is Chris? Why? And I mean I get if you say it to like like you know someone of age, I guess you know sometimes you get a little freaky deaky, but like uh what the hell is this, brother? To a minor? to a minor but it turns out jimmy also has plenty of skeletons in his closet a recent video yeah so apparently jimmy knew about all the things that chris was doing that's what people are saying i gotta keep playing that up okay because i don't know anything about this i'm just learning off youtube twitter and everything but i gotta let you guys know that my youtuber favorite youtuber just got exposed some of them include faking his videos promoting gambling to children conducting illegal lotteries Rigging games and videos which involve millions of dollars in prize money, which is also a crime. Not giving out the prizes that he promises. False advertising, exploitation, and, and a whole lot of stuff, right? This whole room is fake. This contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast. They have not through this fake door twice. This line is scripted. This action is scripted. In fact, pretty much all the videos with Mac are scripted. The most damning uh, allegation here has to be this guy called Mac, right? So Mac was made out to be this random person that is trying so hard to win these challenges and everyone one is emotionally invested in his success well me too i was like damn mr beast is changing this random dude's life like when he won the bags of money when doing those obstacles i'm like damn shout out to mr beast but then uh kind of find out this dude already had so much money and uh he's already physically built for these challenges so he was like a planned out character who's not just some random person they picked out Turns out, in reality, he's just a Mr. Beast employee living in a mansion, and he purposely stalls out the videos to make it intense. Damn. Also, besides Mac, uh, you guys know Mr. Beast has also participated in these events. There's this one video where he was stranded in an, at a sea for seven days with his friends Chris or Ava. Ava. Um, but apparently, they did not spend like seven days or five days or whatever day they got out. 
um, they actually just were filming the parts and then went out to go sleep at a cruise or something. That's what people are saying, not me. During this time lapse on the fourth day of seven days stranded at sea, you can clearly see there's no one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard cut, magically five people are awake and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained on day two. And after standing the whole night completely soaked, you didn't spend the night soaked, Jimmy, you slept on the production yacht. It's ironic because this is one of the videos where they claim that they don't fake things. But no, we have to be the channel that doesn't fake things. In this Damn. So apparently that was fake because like I'm also thinking like how could Mr. Beast spend that much time at an island when he has when he's a busy rich almost a billionaire probably not a billionaire maybe a hundred millionaire and then you know how how could he just leave the real world and just spend seven days even when he got buried 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 for like seven days under the ground but i don't know if he spent seven days exactly because he just filmed the small parts and then got out and he actually was not under the ground for that long that's what this video is saying three days buried underground or some stupid shit so obviously i was right there and these challenges aren't real he's probably just you know filming that part instantly getting out chilling outside or whatever but i'm surprised that everybody has gone on, on with it like all <coughs> i used to think like how can mr beast do this like he's not a professional guy but right? he's just like a normal kid like me well he's is he 25 i think something like that and i'm 23 i cannot do that i'm a normal person I'm not no trained professional person. I mean, of course, you gotta have security, doctor, and everything. But, like, how would you still be able to live under the ground for, a, even, bro, even a couple hours, bro? But he spent apparently like three days or something. Also, there was this one video where Mr. Beast picked out 100 random boys and 100 random girls. But some of them were actually his employees and uh, friends, or employees, friends, or family. So the video was kind of not random, you know, he was just giving money to people who he knew. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. Damn! She recognized a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. Damn! So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast, and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees, or just the employees themselves. Damn. I guess I gotta work for Mr. Beast in order to win the price. He really touches the laser here, but whatever. Let's also, this guy who um, was in one of his videos where he was under the water, he's actually a trained uh, celeb. Damn. Assume that it's all real time. When he reaches the bottom floor, he has to turn these water... This guy. Now, you can tell that these valves aren't actually connected to anything because the water flows out in an instant, and it happens when he's not even touching the valve. The contestant also goes back to the first valve, unaware that anything had happened, and he's still able to spin it. So the valve seems to spin freely and isn't actually connected to the flow of water. So you could assume that producers might be off camera with remote switches to trigger the flow of water. <laughs> And my whole life was a lie. I thought this was like real. I thought like this was reality TV type um, YouTuber, you know? But um, I guess not. I guess he can say like these videos are for entertainment purposes, but he doesn't say that. He says all his videos are real. So uh, we just got lied to. But regardless, there's so many bad things that Ava Tyson also did. Chris, I mean, Mr. Beast old best friend um they're not friends anymore because he got leaked for like you know i'm not gonna talk about that because i don't want to get involved in that ava got exposed and uh jimmy also knew about his messages these are the texts where mr beast is in a server in a discord server with chris who was saying weird things to a minor and uh, jimmy was there and they have a hundred percent proof of it because when they click on Mr. Beast or Jimmy, his uh, account, it links straight to his YouTube, Mr. Beast Games account. And um, you cannot do that if you don't want the account. So Mr. Beast went to the same server with Chris where he was saying all these weird things to a minor. Yeah, Mr. Beast is in trouble. But um, I mean, that's, I, that, that's it for the video, bro. I can't take this anymore. I don't know if I'm not, would, would, would I be able to watch Mr. Beast's video the same again? Probably, because I still like enjoy watching his videos, but like in the back of my head, I'll be like, damn.
You did some sus shit, you know? And of course, it's also Ava Tyson's fault, too. But, um, hey, man, that's why you gotta... You, you, uh, shit always goes wrong, bro. Like, there's things that always go wrong. Even Kaisen as cameraman recently got exposed. Like, you never know who's doing what behind your back or in front of you, and you have no idea. Like, Chris was doing in front of Jimmy, and Jimmy kind of knew. Or he didn't knew. Didn't know. But yeah, man, it is what it is. Things like this always happen. But I want to let you guys know is um, uh, pray for Mr. Beast if he's innocent. If he's not, um, I, I don't know. It's definitely Ava Tyson's fault because, do I call him? Yeah, because she made all this mess for Jimmy. Like she's the one who's causing all the stress. And um, is this a downfall of Jimmy? Let me know in the comments. <laughs>